Hi everyone, it's June 3rd, 2018. I know that I said that I wasn't going to be doing any more weather videos. This is not necessarily a weather video, but I will point out an awful lot of weather events that are taking place all over the country. Friday night, we had a manufactured thunderstorm, which I will show you in a little while in this video. But we had power outages, spotty power outages, which were rather interesting. 7,000 without power in Anderson County. And as I was sitting in the dark Friday night, I was thinking, how many are experiencing power outages and destruction from these storms that I have been seeing on Intellicast? You know, that our um, yellow and red colors that indicate severe storms. My God, severe storms breaking out everywhere. North, central, central, southeast, northeast. I, I've never seen so many on radar. I've never seen so many um, systems that had the yellow and red indications of the severe storms. So. When our power came back, I did some research to try to find out what was happening in where I live, right here in Anderson, South Carolina. I came across one article, Duke Energy, over 7,000 without power. And I thought, that's strange. It was a pretty big storm, felled trees, um, but that, that was it. So I started looking in areas that I saw the on radar, the uh, yellow and red. And sure enough, Kansas City storm leaves 50,000 without power. Severe storms strike north central United States with powerful winds, isolated tornadoes, hail, um, lightning, Missouri, South Dakota, North Dakota, Wyoming. Arkansas, Nebraska, Kansas. Uh, the, the wind that came up just out of nowhere Friday night in Anderson, South Carolina, well, we had wind breaking out everywhere. Nebraska, 67 mile per hour winds that overturned a semi truck. Omaha, Nebraska, 50 mile per hour winds, the line of storms knocked down power lines and caused property damage. Thunderstorms across, across uh, South Dakota. What is this? Look at that pink line of clouds. Now, level, that's not how Mother Nature works. Pink, what is that about? I've posted videos. And in that video showing NASA on the NASA website, lithium turns pink when it hits the atmosphere. Well, the caption reads, a possible tornado near Loop City, Nebraska. That's the caption for this picture? Really? Where's the tornado? Are they claiming that this pink is a tornado? Nothing makes sense today. Hail. Huge hail. We had hail in Anderson, South Carolina. And all you have to do is do research to find out that man can create lightning and hail and thunderstorms and hurricanes, dust storms, earthquakes. They have the technology and they have been using it and weather is being used as a weapon. Lightning. 20,000 lightning strikes across central Nebraska and south central South Dakota. Hell reports Nebraska, South Dakota, Montana. The peak wind gusts from 68 to 70 mile per hour winds. South Dakota, North Dakota, Montana. Oh, they even provide a radar image and you can see the next red harp ring. Oh, and a square storm. Very defined lines. And it's being shredded. 
all of this, th these are signatures of frequencies being used in these storms. The next rad, Doppler, high frequencies, the ultra-low frequency transmitters, Gwen Towers, an array of Gwen Towers. I have posted many videos on that. Oh, wow. Yeah, hell, the size of tennis balls. Another article I read, I can't even remember where it was. Hell, grapefruit size. Tornadoes in Kildare, North Dakota. Tornadoes in Wyoming. Storms are breaking out everywhere. Now, if they're only posting a few articles on what is happening across the country, and it's not mainstream media news, it's not um, national news, then you, you may think that things are fine in other parts of the country, even if you're experiencing something that ain't so fine. Sorry for the car. Things are not fine. Things are really not fine anywhere. Storms in East Arkansas leave one injured power outages. 6,000 in Arkansas without power. Tornado watch issued for southern Missouri. Big hail, lightning possible. Tornadoes wreaking havoc. Oh, where? Not just in Tornado Alley. Twisters can happen just about any time, anywhere. New York City, or New York, I'm sorry. Uh, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Wyoming. When you have man with his toys, and they don't care about life, when they have the technology to create weather, they can create anything, anywhere, anytime. It's just up to where they're going to target next. And if you read articles, you will read the language that these meteorologists or journalists are using. Targeted area. Just read an article about what was happening in Arkansas, um, Kansas, and how Missouri was targeted. Well, we are being targeted deliberately. Then I come across wildfires. New Mexico, Colorado, wildfires force hundreds to evacuate. These wildfires in New Mexico and Colorado erupted at the same time, but they're 250 miles apart. They've burned 30,000 acres. Then I come across this. California. Wow. New uh, evacuations ordered. California, Colorado, 300 homes threatened in New Mexico. Now, I did see an article that they're expecting rain in New Mexico. I read an article last night about that rain expected, but comma, and then the sentence read, but expected are lightning strikes, which could ignite the fire. If they want to ignite it, they can. The fire in California, 50 miles south of Los Angeles, it's burned 250 acres. Well, you'll see they downgraded that to 120 acres. How is it that they report 250 acres and then downgrade it to 120? But it's 0% contained as of last night. It's in Laguna Beach, California. 400 men were on it, uh, firemen. No damage, no damage to any structures yet. It's called the Aliso Fire in Aliso Viejo. Um, Mandatory evacuations of 2,000. They have a notice that they're going to be lifting the mandatory evacuation orders 9 p.m. tonight, but they will remain for one particular neighborhood called Top of the World. The Colorado fire 15 miles outside the city of Durango, whoa, 0% contained. 
They evacuated 1,500. And New Mexico. Massive fire, Colfax County, that has burned 27,290 hectares. And it's 0% contained. Mandatory evacuation order in place for the city of Cameron. Thousands evacuated parts of South, South, Southern California. You know, I don't even know how to communicate. Because when I have to repeat things over and over and over again, I get really, like, I, I, I just, there's something in me that I just can't stand repeats. <laughs> when it's about such destruction and it just goes on and on and we know that if people would just do the research they would learn that this is being manufactured yes you've got to believe in global warming you have got to believe in climate change and you know the ramifications of all of this are tremendous people have already suffered the consequences but it's coming to everyone and I'm going to point out some of the ramifications that Grindall61 points out in a video that he posted just yesterday. So I don't know what is taking place with these uh, wildfires. I put in a search and filtered the search for the last hour, but this is all that I have come up with. And guess what? June 2nd at nearly midnight last night, that's what I'm getting. Um, but we've got severe, exceptional drought in the Four Corners. So, this is Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Utah. The brown color, exceptional drought. The red, extreme drought. Man can create drought. But look at California. All right, abnormally dry is the yellow. The tan, moderate drought. And the gold, Severe drought. So, Grindall 51, uh, 61, sorry, um, posts this video. California turns off the water. You will not be able to wash clothes and shower in the same day. Rationing water. And I have said in many videos over the years, they will start rationing. Scarcity! We have no water. Well, you do have water. And there is not a water crisis. And if you don't know about primary water, watch this video. We do not have a water shortage. There is so much water underneath the earth that we could tap into. But no, we have to deceive everybody into believing scarcity. My God, we're running out of water. And those who refuse to do any research to find out that we're not running out of water to find out what is behind all of these extreme weather events, we have to suffer the consequences of their laziness and their uh, just wanting to live a comfortable life and leave me alone with all of this information. I just want to believe my mainstream media reporters. I want to believe my government officials. Global warming is real. Climate change is real. No. No. This has all been engineered to get you to believe that we've got to save the Earth. Well, it's to bring about the New World Order, the United Nations Agenda 2030 plan, which is a prison grid that will literally leave you no control over any aspect of your life. And I will link below to this video if you don't know about Agenda 2030. What is it? Sustainable Development, United Nations implementing and has been for many years implementing this plan to take control over every 
resource on the planet, every aspect of everyone's life. Now, you might think, how could they possibly do that? And then roll your eyes and claim that the person who is saying this is crazy. It simply means you have not done any research to learn that what people are telling you is true. It's happening. And yes, I get upset because those who have done the research, especially those who have been working 24-7 trying to get somewhere to stop this plan, you affect their lives by your laziness, by your immaturity, by your irresponsibility. All you have to do is do some research to find out that weather is cre a man is creating these weather events. And I posted a video that was back on Kafka Winston World. Having done some research on particular states, not California, but California is the forefront. You've got to be looking at what's happening in California because it is coming to everyone. It is coming to everyone, particularly those who live in the mega regions. This is the reshaping of the United States. So we have these mega regions. I live in the Piedmont Atlantic. It's so easy to manipulate people to steer them into particular regions. You impoverish the areas in the gray zone. You leave them with no opportunity, but they hear that there's opportunity in, well, the front range states and the Arizona Sun Corridor and the Texas Triangle and the Piedmont Atlantic. So, with no opportunity in all of these states where you see gray, where do they go? They go into the mega regions. And that is what is taking place. And again, when I was living in an area in Anderson, South Carolina, all of the mom and pop stores are dying. They're having to shut down the rules and the regulations that put the noose around their neck. They can't afford to continue operating, but you have corporations coming in. And not just the block uh, chain restaurants and these um, box store, but you have corporations like Michelin tires and they, they set up their factories in these mega regions so they impoverish an area in Maine and in my apartment building a man and his family moved in. I started talking to him. He was from Maine. He could not find any work in Maine. He had to move down to get work in the Piedmont Atlantic region so that he could survive he and his family. That's how they shift people. That's how they move them around. They create weather events that destroy over and over and over again people in the same areas like what a plain truth dot info points out. And you can listen to a government official in Elliott City and he is talking about how these people in Elliott City, Maryland, Baltimore, they experiencing a flash flood again. They experienced this in 2016. They experienced it again in 2018. It destroys them again. 
people have less resources because of the first destruction to their homes or their cars or their jobs or and then they experience it again they move to areas where they're not going to have to experience this again but they have to move to areas where they can find work it's very easy so I will link below to all of these um, videos but listen if you do not know anything about the reshaping of the United States and I do need to point out no one will be living in the gray zone everybody will be moved into these mega regions yes an awful lot of people have to die and that is why we're seeing an exponential increase in disease and illness in syndromes an exponential increase in every disease cancer is off the charts that's why you know they are depopulating the planet depopulating each country it is why we don't have foods that sustain good health our food supply has been taken over by genetically modified foods that is why we have our EPA allowing allowing greater amounts of pesticides herbicides glyphosate or glyphosate to be sprayed on our foods when studies show that these pesticides, especially glyphosate, Roundup, Monsanto, causes cancer. We've got microwave frequencies blasting us 24-7 that causes cancer and causes disease and illness when people start dropping off dead and those that survive get into the mega region you will feel the 5G the power of 5G it is the active denial system that the military uses the millimeter wave and with the 5G that is already in the works being deployed yes our FCC, they use military terms. The deployment of these 5G cells, they will be able to lock down these regions and lock down neighborhoods because these 5G at a certain frequency, you can't pass them. Oh, it's an invisible fence for you. You can't pass them because they will burn you kill you. It's kind of like that invisible fence that so many put around their property to keep their dogs in. Well, we will be the dogs in the mega region kept in. And in these mega regions, when you have a smaller population number and when you have them isolated in particular regions, it is so easy to control them and every industry is on it. Just to show you, emergency medical services, Agenda 2050, you do the research and you will find Agenda 2050, it, so many are involved in creating this prison grid for all of us. Globalism through United Nations Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, Vision 2050. I, I mean, the mountains of evidence and we still can't get through to people okay well please circulate this information doesn't matter that Trump is in office interesting that he made 5G a national security priority to get it deployed fast all of these weather events that we're not actually hearing about people are suffering the consequences of them so let's take a look at that storm that we had Friday night in Anderson, South Carolina. So these, what I refer to as mountain clouds, they are artificially created and I've decided that I'm just going to do another video 
after this on how they can artificially create these clouds. But do you see something unusual here? And the video, this does not do justice to how massive these clouds are and how unbelievably low they are. But can you not see all of the black stuff? And this is not opening people's eyes. Again, I would, I would have expected that everybody stop their cars, get out of their cars, point to the sky and say, what the hell is happening? When did we start getting black clouds? But no, you have an awful lot of people driving down and, well, are they seeing this as a natural occurrence? They couldn't possibly, except for those who are very young. But for the past three weeks, virtually every day, this is what we are seeing. These massive clouds, black clouds, dark gray clouds, right up against very white clouds. They don't move. They don't, they, they just change. You can stand and watch a cloud not move. Yeah, that's normal. Please, I just can't, they think that's a natural cloud? You can watch the clouds being created. You can watch them morph and change shape, but they don't move. And you can watch the creation of a thunder cloud that also doesn't move. And you can see no wind, but then the wind comes up immediately. And there it is. That black cloud just sat there. Now we used to watch clouds roll in the thunder clouds. They would roll in, we'd have a thunderstorm, and when they would roll on out of our area, the air was so cool and just crisp and the sky was like a deep blue. It was so fabulous that doesn't occur anymore. Look at all of the wind, but these clouds, they sit motionless. And, well, those thunder clouds that used to roll in, we didn't see within them uh, blue skies and gray clouds and white clouds sitting motionless. all of this artificially created. So that black cloud above us, it didn't go anywhere, but you would see, you could see how it began to change. So they're hitting that with electricity, microwave frequencies, and then it begins to rain. Nothing rolls in. It just starts raining and the sky gets to be very eerie. Um, it's crazy making that people are just not seeing this. It's very upsetting when they see it and they don't care. That is not a normal cloud. This is not a natural storm. They're bringing about a lot of destruction that people have to suffer. And it's going to be, I believe, a really chaotic, destructive summer where an awful lot of people are going to be experiencing destruction. Will it be you? I hope not. Will it be my subscribers who have already experienced their homes being flooded out. Nothing is moving, but we have tremendously high winds. Uh, 
I well I don't I honestly don't know it's so hard to just watch this over and over again and then have to sit in the dark for 12 hours but oh yeah this is our thunderstorm that's what the sky looks like You have to be extremely disconnected from nature to not see what is happening. So these winds pick up. I'm driving by. Oh, well, tree felled. Our trees are so weak here from their immune systems being gutted from all of the chemicals being sprayed upon them. This is our sky after a thunderstorm. Really? Black? Is that the lithium that they're spraying? We've got black, yellow, and uh, hot pink lines. So the next video will be showing you how they can create these artificial clouds, artificial thunderstorms.